Hello everyone. So in this episode of Unreal Engine Open World, uh, Unreal Engine Third Person Shooter series, I'm gonna show you how to make the explosions propagate. So when I shoot one of these barrels like this, it explodes the other nearby barrels as well. Let me show it again. Right. So let's see how to do that in this episode. And this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Right now at the moment we can shoot on these barrels and explode them. Like this. But uh, even if we put them closer they don't affect each other uh, so that's what I am going to work on today when I shoot one of the barrels it should affect it should automatically explode the other barrels too and also it should damage the characters nearby so let's first Put uh, NPC soldier here. So oh, it is, yeah, like this. But still, that character is also not affected by the explosion. Right. Let me move it a little closer. Uh, now first. I'll implement uh, exploding nearby barrels. So let's open the blueprint. So now, when we when we explore this uh, barrel, we need to find out what are the nearby objects. So for that, we can do a multi. Yeah, there are multiple uh, multi traces. So let's use multi sphere trace for objects and as the starting point i'll use the explosion object point and end is also i think we can use the same not sure let's see and as the radius so this is the explosion radius let me promote that to a variable explosion radius and yeah i'll promote this uh, impulse strength also to a variable so when we create different types of barrels or any other explosive objects by extending this explosive barrel class we have the option to change these parameters Okay, explosion radius. I'll give 500. What's the other object types? Mm -hmm. Let's make an array and I'll use pawn and what's the objective uh, object type of this? barrel yeah destructible that's two let's use both pawn is two so that we can detect the nearby enemy characters or nearby characters including the player and i draw debug type for duration so that we can see if we get any hits here let's see now see now we get one two three three red dots so that means those are the hits within this radius right now um, hmm. it returns out hits like this so 
let's set the branch here if we get any hits this will become true if true let me break this oh sorry break oh no it's an error we can't break so what we can do a follow Mm. yeah for each loop and then uh, so this is the hit result and we can break this one so here we can access the actor um, let's promote this to a variable and I'll turn it into an array and let's call it hit no nearby actors and let's add Sorry, if we can't set it like this, we get a reference to this nearby actor and add unique. So let's add this hit actors into this array like this. Oh, actually, we could just call on bullet hit to another function to make them explode here also. But I think. Yeah, let's do it that way directly. I don't think we need to put them into a array. Oh, no, wait. Uh, if we do them at once, uh, that would look bad. Like, I think it would be better if we have some time in between the explosions of nearby objects right now when this is completed let's check if we have check the length of these objects if this is larger than zero let's add a branch now we can damage them one by one so how do we do that well, let's get another for each loop here using this element uh, well if now we need some function to damage or explore the nearby object if they are explosive if they are explosive objects the nearby object they should explore if they are like characters they should just die or something so let me open this CH soldier class here we have actually we have only implemented on bullet hit this way right so and for the barrels we have we have only on bullet hit yeah mm, yeah let's implement the barrels first so let's go to this bpi damageable and let's add another event on explosion hit right and as an input we can give a reference to the explosive actor who actually damage in who actually does the damage so damage in actor no let's call it explosion source right now here 
in the explosive barrel let's implement that event on explosion hit event like this and here I simply just call explode uh, we don't need to consider this explosion source at the moment uh, we need the uh, reference to that only if we add in something like a impulse from that explosion direction or something but at the moment let's just try this and here let's call on explosion hit on this subject right now when i shoot one of the barrels all three barrels should explode oh wait i got an infinite loop ah right i know what happened so actually what happens here is this when bar one barrel is exploded it tries to find nearby barrels and then uh, all uh, then we try to explode that barrel and when that barrel explodes it again tries to explode the nearby barrels so thus it causes an infinite loop so let's add a do once loop here so that should fix the issue because the barrel can explode only once let's try okay okay but it didn't explode the nearby barrels why is that ah sorry this is wrong we should call it like this on explosion hit message target is this element and the explosion source is self which is this barrel it instantly exploded the nearby barrels as well but it would be cool if we have some random delay in between explosions so let's add a random float in range before exploding minimum 1 or 0.5 maximum 2 The other one didn't explode uh, right I don't think we can use delays inside a follow yeah so let's add the random delay here should work let's try right okay and you see we get this multiple dots uh, that's because when one barrel explodes the debris are exploded and those debris also causes the multi-sphere trace to do a heat response but since we are using this uh, uh, here at unique uh, it will make sure that in this nearby actors array there will be only one instance of the same actor reference not multiple actor references so that's not a problem I'll remove this to none okay uh, now this works for the barrels so now the explosions are propagated into the into the nearby barrels in the next episode let's see how to make these uh, explosions how to 
make the nearby characters enemy characters or the player character get affected by the explosion and thanks for watching so as always project files will be available for the download link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye